still um, browning the hamburger meat while I cut up those onions. Um, let this get all nice and brown and then we'll strain it. Um, and we'll leave about two tablespoons of the hamburger grease um, to make our roux. Okay, so I just added um, my chopped onions. I left about two tablespoons of the fat from the hamburger. Um, and now I'm going to saute these for about 30 seconds. Let them kind of start to soften up. And then I'll add um, my garlic. Added about one small tablespoon of the minced garlic. Just kind of get that in here and let the onions start to soften up. And let that smell. Okay, so now I got my my water boiling with a little bit of um, vegetable oil and um, salt. Um, got that to a boil. I'm gonna add in um, noodles. Let that be boiling while I finish up my sauce. Okay, now that my onions and garlic and my onions are starting to get that brown color, nice and soft. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Okay. I'm bring up the heat. I'm slowly stirring a little bit of beef broth. I got two cups. I stir that in. Yeah. Okay, after I bought, made the beef broth to a boil, I added the eight ounce can of tomato sauce. And then I added the Italian seasoning, smoked paprika, garlic powder, um, and brought that to a boil. Then I mixed in some heavy whipping cream um, and my cheese, two cups of cheese, and just stirred that all in. Then um, I added my um, <clears throat> hamburger meat next. all done and it really turned out great the kids and the husband loved it um tastes like a boxed hamburger helper but better please like and subscribe